And we're also recognizing they're passing from ethos to the Paoli House, as a couple of folks have uh, talked about here. And this is a big, important time in their life here, you know. This has been the culmination of a lot of hard personal work and a lot of support from everyone. And so I'm going to ask Brian if he'd like to say a couple of words about their time during the basic discipleship course. Well, you know, that's just exactly what the basic discipleship course is designed to do is to begin the discipleship process and, um, and hopefully instill within the guys who go through the course or the people who go through the course the desire to, to continue and go deeper after the course is over. You know, and, and, and I, I can say that the course has been a success. Jesus has been a success. I, you know, it's just these guys are going are gonna to continue on as disciples of Christ. And, and you know, as, as Russ said and, and, and Andy said, you know, we're doing something right in this room. And uh, these two guys are a testament to that fact. And uh, the, the amount of work that they put in over the last three months has been, you know, absolutely incredible, you know, just to be able to be there with them and, 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 and hopefully guide them in the right direction and, and be a part of that has been one of the greatest blessings that I've ever received. And so I thank these two men for, for just and, uh, proving and us right and, and reassuring the gospel. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, this is a special day. Uh, it's the, the first graduation we're having from, from Ethos. And, uh, you know, I look back over the years, and, and I'm all about systems. I'm not the best at keeping systems, but I'm all about systems. I, I love Tom and, and Brian. They're very organized, and I'm not at all. <laughs> You think that's funny, huh? <laughs> 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 uh, I like to think I'm kind of a vision person. And if I look back over the history of what we've done, you know, we started with small groups, and then we opened up a home and another home and another home, and we started a church and we opened up the ranch. And, um, in looking back, I think we've come to a place now where we have a, a real tight blueprint good system for sharing Jesus with the addicted and I'm so proud of these guys but I was just as I was standing here just now it, it came to me you know we can have all the systems in the world and it really doesn't matter our system is, is right here Amen. it's Jesus Christ that's our system that's why this place works that's why we get the, the wonderful testimonies about that's what we do around here. Our mission statement is we share Jesus with the addicted. And that's why we have people like Matt back there who blows me away and says, I've got five years. I, I, I didn't even think I knew Matt that long. Um, but I'm just, I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful for you two because, you know, to make a commitment to go to Ethos, that's not a 90, that's not just a week or a month. That's a 90 day commitment. I see, I see two different men here, and that's, each, and that's what we're about. We're about change lives, and this is a this is a special day. Praise God. Amen. 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 That Johnny, here's your little certificate, <coughs> and your shirt. The black shirts represent that you graduated from Ethan, or uh, from the basic discipleship course. We ask folks to wear them out in public because folks will ask, so what is step seven? And now we're able to share intelligently with them what it is that we're all about. Matt had something he would like to say. Um, so yesterday I was uh, packing up my room at Ethos and it was kind of a nostalgic feeling, you know, because I'm not leaving the ministry, but you know, we've been Brian's leadership, basically, it's a little more freedom, which is a little more scary, you know. But as I was packing up the room, I realized just all, all of the material blessings that I had kind of acquired over the past three months. Um, but then I started to think a little deeper about the, the spiritual blessings um, that I've gained 
which includes all of you. Mm -hmm. You know, I've not sat up here before. You know, forgive me, I'm a little nervous, but um, I look around and I see, you know, I see a lot of people that I love. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you know, I just wanted to thank my parents. They put up with a lot. Amen. But they never stopped loving me. And um, they're not here, but Bert and Ruthie. The love that they have for people they don't even know, that they would let them live in their house, is incredible. And like I say, all of you, PT, Ed, Brian, my mentors, I just feel so different today than 90 days ago. And of course, I have to thank Jesus. In my relationship with them. So thank you. I'm going to ask whoever would like to come up. We're going to gather around these two, pray a little bit over them as they start their new phase in life here. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and start us off. I'm going to ask Brian then if he'll follow up, and then Pastor if he'll finish. Oh, Heavenly Father, such an awesome day. Lord, to see these men and to see the growth that you have caused in them in this past 90 days. And Lord, we just look forward to more milestones coming as these men continue the work that you've started in them continue to grow and continue to flourish in our community. And Lord, I just pray that you would put a hedge of protection around them as they move. That Lord, you would continue to show your love in every facet of their life. Father God, this is awesome. This is uh, overwhelming, Lord. And I, uh, I know that my brothers and sisters in this room share my emotions and my feelings. Lord, I just lift all those feelings up to you right now, Lord, and I pray that you would send them right back down to protect Matt and Johnny as they move forward. I pray that you would uh, continue to guide them and, and, and make your presence known in a mighty way in their, their lives, Lord, in their home, their new home. Lord, and I'd also like to lift up Phil. I pray that you would uh, give him the wisdom and the guidance to, to continue to lead these men in a godly way. Father, we praise you this morning and we thank you for Matt and Johnny here. You have called them to walk with you in a great adventure, like you called, called Abraham. And like you yourself did, Lord, on earth, you walked around, you moved. That's what Paul did, and you're calling every one of us to do that. And we know that you will continue to work in their life. You will keep on drawing them to you. And that's why they will remain Christian. We pray that you will help them to realize you not only love them, but you have a great emptiness in your life for them. You have a yearning for them. And that's why you came. And that's why you took their punishment upon them. And you lived their perfect life. And help them to realize that they have to open their hearts to you. And you will live that life out within them. You are a great gentleman. You will gently guide and lead them. And so we pray for your blessing upon them. We may be, Lord, an encouragement to them, not an hindrance in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, I ask that you bless Matt and Johnny for our next seven months. We send them 
out in Jesus' name, going to the daily house. I know that your wisdom and guidance and discernment and protection will be on you. continue just to grow in the knowledge, and favor, and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for bringing these two guys into my life and giving me that just the blessing of that history of seeing them <coughs> the first day. Amen. Amen. Amen.